In this quick demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate to you just how smart and simple this home is to operate. It all starts with outdoor Kivo, which attaches to your smartphone and will let you in if you have the proper keys and have been invited to. You can share these electronic keys with friends and family to make things easier. Once inside the house, you'll see a touchscreen security alarm system that can be used for arming or disarming the home. As you can see right here, the zone status is indicating that somebody came in the front door. If we walk through the main part of the home, you'll come to the brain or the center of the home's controllers, which is an in-wall in iPad. I know this might look a little daunting, but it's actually the simplest thing to use to totally control your house. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. It's obviously all touchscreen enabled. You start off by picking the floor that you want to control the audio or video. So I'm going to pick the main floor here. What I'm going to do is I am going to turn on the 65 inch curved Samsung LED TV in the great room simply by selecting first the great room. Secondly, I want to watch the Bell PVR and I want to select it to show me CNN. What you'll see is the TV has just come on in the great room. Again, I can now adjust the audio levels or very quickly by pushing a button change to NBC, for example. I also could switch between any device in the house by scrolling through the device list. So for example, we have three Bell satellite receivers, two Apple TVs, three of the Android TVs. Uh, we have a Western Digital Live box, a full gaming PC that's connected, uh, my son's PC, a high resolution 4K upgrade, uh, Blu-ray player, Xbox, and house cameras. So for example, if I just hit the cameras for the house, what you'll see is that on any screen in the home that you select cameras, you will get the full effect of the security cameras. Now, while this is nice to be able to do this through an in-wall iPhone or iPad, as you see here, we can also operate the exact same thing from separate devices, such as a portable iPad that shows exactly the same controls. That's showing the security control. I'm going to go back to the same controller that we had before. And again, that's totally portable. And it also works with your smartphone device uh, or any Apple product. There are Android interfaces available. Uh, the, some of the apps that we have on the system will work with a smartphone, uh, an Android smartphone. But as of right now, most of the devices are controlled through an iPad iPod, iPhone, or some other devices that are available throughout the network. I'm now going to demonstrate one of the in-wall audio controllers. This is in the downstairs bar area. And simply by using the selector, I can select any one of the devices that are currently on the system. For this example, I'm going to select FM number one. And I can now control the sound what station I want to listen to. And in this case, it's playing through the speakers in the bar. As shown previously, all the controls in 16 zones in the house are controlled. And they're all controlled through the main control center in the basement just off of the main bar. This impressive two rack system contains every component for every audio video device in the entire house. It's all wired back here through CAT6 and the entire house is wired as well as affected uh, with uh, Wi-Fi devices and extenders throughout the house. What you can see here is an in uh, cabinet display that allows me to select whatever um, video device I would like. And you can also see a rack full of Denon uh, high power amplifiers on this one side followed by the actual Wi-Fi and Ethernet connections, a 4K upscaling Blu-ray player, the 
home uh, security system devices, as well as what are really the brains of this system, which is the Y-Storm 16 zone audio video matrix controller with a remote, uh, and the RTI controller that basically lets you use your smart devices uh, to control any area in the home. I know this looks kind of complicated, it's well documented, there's a local company that installed it, uh, and for the most part, you just lock it and leave it. I also mentioned some additional remote controls for the home theater, as well as the great room. These are pretty sturdy devices that are a complement to the system and will work if the smartphones for some reason aren't responding. I'm gonna take you now just into the home theater fairly quickly just to show you again, using this remote, as well as my smart devices, can control everything. All right, we gotta take out as many of these cannons as we can. We're not gonna get very far. All right, I'm gonna get us in position, just stay sharp. So back upstairs now, and the last part I want to show you is the TV in my patio area. Again, totally controlled by apps and remotes within the, within the house. This outdoor system also includes 12 yard speakers that can blast music and or the, any audio source within the house to the entire backyard. That's it for now.